so the way that this works is with the D latch you have the data line and the latch line so when you push the latch line it will make the output match the input which is this piece so the big cube will match this skinny one so when you push when you turn it on when you push the button the output matches when you turn it off again it matches so you turn it on it's always going to match and now the next step is we take advantage of the one tick delay between turning on the inverter and the output turning off and it's kind of hard to see here so here i have a bunch of them lined up and you can see the one tick pulse rolling through next is you can link the output of the inverter to the input of the d-latch and when you toggle them both at the same time there is a one tick delay before this turns off so you can see it flash there so after one tick the inverter turns off and so the output only stays on for that one tick but if you can click it for just the one tick you can actually make the line stay on so you can it's on and then it's off and if we do it where we only click it for one tick and you connect the output of the data latch to the inverter when this is on the input will be off and then it'll flip-flop and it's kind of hard to do it because you have to push it for just the one tick but as we saw right here is this produces a one tick output so let's use two of them one of them is the input from the button is tied to the inverter and the latch on the D latch and then the output from the inverter is tied to the input on the latch and then same thing here the output of the inverter is tied to the latch but now on the latch the output of the latch is tied to the input on the inverter so these are going to be opposite and this will toggle a one tick output so it's really easy to flip it it's on and off and on and off now like we saw over here it's hard to get it to just stay because if you hold this line it's going to start flashing so on this one if you do that one tick pulse it starts flashing which we don't really want and so since there is like two ticks between this turns on and off you can put a three tick delay and that'll fix it so if you do a really quick pulse it just doesn't register rather than getting stuck flick flickering so now if we come over here uh, you can see the different uh, versions I've made and the one that I like is you have here's the one tick pulse and then here is the like flip-flop and then I put the input to a socket and the output to the other socket and then also here's the lines if we wanted to use that and then you can uh, on the input we're gonna have that three tick delay but since this input will only have the three tick delay the second like the next ones in line don't actually need it they'll just the delay will slow it down so we can oops So we can get rid of this delay and then just have the flipping circuit in here with the one tick pulse and we can stick these guys together with the sockets and when I push this every time you push this 
it's like pushing the button to the next one. And in computers, you can use this to count. So I have something over here that we can count with. So if you start at zero, so all these are on, and what I did is I just put an inverter on each of the outputs so that when these are on, they're off. Otherwise, it starts at the highest number instead of starting at the lowest number. So now, when I click this button, it'll flip on one, two, three, you know, and it counts up. And then to delay, because it takes, you know, two ticks for each signal to propagate through, I went ahead and the easiest thing I could think of was just to put that same tick delay in with a bunch of repeaters. I know there's an easier way to do it, but this is just what I did. And so then what this does is each one of these outputs is mapped to a latch. And so then after however many ticks all these link together, um, is when I push this button, you can see it pulse through. So you can see it up here running through. And every time after that pulses, it will actually latch the lines from here in. And so until that pulses, the number will stay the same. And that's why there's a delay between when I click the button and when the number changes. Because that's how long on the worst case scenario of everything going to this one, to that one, to that one, that's how long it takes. It's that long. So the way to make this, if you want to see it made, is I'm just going to make it right now, off the top of my head, is you put the line right there, the, the latch right there, sorry, and let me turn down the volume. So now we can have the delay from the input to the output and we need to make this link three you can't do it with the wire on the output link three and then have that with an inverter tie it to the input from the delay put the output from the inverter on the latch and then this piece will give the one tick pulse and we just take that one tick pulse and we will have that go to our latch and then on the inverter here we go so this will flip it now we can just add our button i like that that way we can do this button, you can do this however you want. See? And if you wanted to, you could tie this to an inverter and do it how you want, however you have the lines made. Because I could have made this where it... Oops. I could have made this where it read the lines the other way around, and I wouldn't have to have the inverters on there. It just depends on the way you have it put together and for the input that it's expecting. And oh, if you wanted to do this, this is just the whatever this is, the post, the mount. And I put one of these on top, just V to adjust it. And we have the lines like that. There we go. And this is, it takes up three. So it takes up this piece and then two more. You can't put another wall right here. But this can reach over the rest of this. So that's how they can link together. And then you need to put this to the input. And this to the output. And there we go. Then if we wanted to, you just copy and paste it together 
to get a hit. There we go. And like I said, you don't really need the three tick delay. So on the second one, I just move that out of the way. I just remove this, remove this, and put that there. And then you can use V to shorten it. And there we go. Now, when you click the button, it counts through. And this is how you can count in binary easily. Um, I made it because what I was doing before was when I was making this display, I was using, you know, so it'll be like one, uh, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and then one more goes back to zero. And this seemed easier. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One more goes back to zero.